All right, guys, welcome back. We are back to Super Seducer, and today we are doing Chapter Three, Club, and Dance Floor. Um, if you haven't watched the video already before this, go watch it, please. Uh, get caught up to where we're at. Uh, having a lot of fun with this, um, and I'm hoping you guys are also having kind of the same amount of fun as I am, because uh, this is funny. And uh, I, if you haven't heard before, I've already gone through chapter one and chapter two already like days before re recording the uh first video and that's only because my um my audio quality was just ass uh was not gonna put that out that kind of level i know you guys hear my pc right now if you guys are wondering uh my videos i might be like that for a little bit and it's just because i'm trying to get some problems fixed out i need to spray some stuff out or whatever i got a brand new pc and this is the only problem with it so unfortunately that's where I'm at right now, but I'll get that fixed and I'll get that all deal with uh, soon. So you guys don't hear that uh, again. But um, all right, well let's hop in. Uh, clap and dance for. All right, so a girl in the club. She dancing, she vibing. We need to say something to her, right? We need to let her know. Well, no, no, actually, no, we don't say anything to her yet. First, we just start non-verbally opening the body. So that's just important. Dance. Talking about her. In a noisy environment, you don't want to be too conversational, so starting by catching her attention non-verbally is the right choice. Alright, so... Yeah, you want to introduce yourself while dancing. You, just, you don't want to kill the vibe yet. I'm Richard. Jenna. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that's it. You don't want to be, spend too long talking because it's a noisy dance floor. So that's exactly it. Very quick, then back to dancing. So now it's like, all right, social cues are met. What's one more final social cue we can do? To let her know that we're really trying to get to know her. And one thing you can do is dance closer to her. If you're just dancing kind of near her, then, you know, she could move away. So you want to escalate a little bit, get a little bit closer. Suggest you go get a drink. You don't want to assume anything and you definitely don't want to kiss her. It's in public. I'm thirsty. Let's go get a drink. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Because you're always waiting for the time on the dance floor to get off of there. Because, you, you know, there's only so much you can do in that noisy, busy place. And the right time to do it is when the music changes and it's a lame track. You really like dancing, eh? I do. Yeah, very much. But you seem sober. It's strange. Why are you in the club and you still seem sober? <laughs> I can't dance as well if I drink too much. <laughs> All right. Well, we started now, so. Yeah, we'll now it's okay. okay. No, I'm not standing. And I think I saw you. Obviously, I saw you on the dance floor. But I think before, did I see you in the smoking area? Was that you? Yeah, probably. Oh. You don't like smoking. So, you don't want to lie to her here, right? You don't want to tell her something you don't want to lie to her but you don't want to make a light of it she's serious so well i don't smoke but you know it's your choice but i do hope one day you would quit <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm working on it I'm yeah on it. yeah, yeah. I, right. I i'll help you bad. i'll encourage you by reminding you he's already talking about the future 
No, not really. I'm just encourage you not to distract you. <laughs> well, thank you. you. That would be helpful. On one hand, you don't want to nag her. And on the other hand, you don't want to tell her it's great if you don't think it is. So this is the correct middle ground and it's the right choice. Well done. But you shouldn't be talking about the future right and now. And so you smoke, but do you have any other bad habits? Or is that it? I think it's the only real bad one. I can be messy sometimes if that's a bad habit. I don't chew my nails or anything. Compulsive gambler or no, I don't know. Not thief. Yet. Like, <laughs> what is it? Those, what's the, the word thief for the one, people that have to steal really, things? I like, I like the technique of just saying the craziest thing. Oh, I don't thing. remember. You know, you know there I is do, one though, uh, right? Um, Necro, it's like a necrophilia. That's people that have sex with necrophilia. dead people. Necrophilia. <laughs> necrophilia. Okay. Necrophilia, no. yes. Uh, and I was I thinking narcolepsy, that. but that's the sleeping <laughs> one. No, narcolepsy, only necrophilia. There is. Um, so, do you have any bad habits? Um, like, I don't get inflict pain on people. Like, what is this? Well, I don't think I have anything I too bad, but it depends what you think. So, I don't know. Like, sometimes Mind you, he's I'm one like, of the girls that we're later going to take out. So, this is important um, how we answer. I haven't tried, like, super really, hard drugs, but, yeah. but a couple couple drugs. And aside from that, I don't know. Sometimes I can be really harsh with people. A little bit That's impatient. Good impatient. That's... Okay. No, I'm sure I have some bad ones, but nothing, nothing super bad. And definitely nothing like a, you know, a habit that, that really annoys people. Okay. But then she Excellent. starts taking a In weird this turn. Case, you want to and I don't have like some this honesty, weird turn. and so you know sometimes the honesty can be shocking, surprising, but it has an interesting effect on her attraction levels. They're likely to go up. So tell me, do you have any good habits or like healthy stuff you do? <laughs> yeah, um, I dance a lot. Yeah, I like to go hiking. Um, I take my dog and we hike in the mountains a lot. Oh yeah. Um, it's great. Mm. And let me see. Yoga? Do you have a dream of like climbing Everest or Kilimanjaro or something no, like this? No, it's too cold. <laughs> too cold. I like to be warm. But I have some friends that climb Kilimanjaro and they're just regular people. Like they started in no. the morning and they got to the top by sunset or they had help. nightfall. Yeah, of course, they're guys carrying everything, but I don't it think seems I would like try it. it's kind of easy. No. You no. would do it. Uh, I like what? to think what? I would. So, <laughs> but if you put me there, I don't know. <laughs> so you hike. What else do you do? Um, lots of sports. I like. I tried climbing recently. Sometimes I play squash. Used to play tennis. But I guess now and he sticks I just with the squash. go to the gym a few times a week. All about time. it. You go to the gym. Really? She like why like you go to the gym? Really? Like, just let it go. If you're that concerned, fucking take me. But just shut the fuck up. This takes a weird turn. I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't make it any better either. A six pack would be overkill. I think that's how I answered that. I asked what the hell she's talking about. I go to the gym all the time. Oh, girls. I think C was the right answer. Look, I'm gonna be straight with you. It's quite a problem for me at the moment with girls because uh, I just get too much attention and when I'm you know, just slightly close to a girl, she wants to get married and all of this stuff and I don't have a six pack. So imagine if I add a six pack as well. So I go to the gym, but I'm always there and I'm like, shall I do two more? Well, I get to, you know, so you the girls like me a lot already. So, so you do it for chill. the benefit of women. Well, so you're not too hot. Do it for benefit of women. I mean, they're already benefited a lot. So Jesus it's mainly Christ. for me, but it's just that extra motivation that you get when you're single and desperate. And you're like, I need a girl. Come on, one more rep. And Come you on. have so many. Like, doing this. Well, when I'm single, I do. But when I have a relationship, I only have one. Okay. Notice yes, that this is said with a smirk, but it is taking her attack and not being a wussy you know, about it, not crying about it, not attacking her back, being playful and playing this kind of arrogant, cocky role. That actually works really well when it's done tongue in cheek. Just think Robert Downey Jr. I'm trying to guess. I mean, when I look at you, I think you're kind of, I don't know, something to do with music. I don't know why I think <laughs> that, but what did you study at university? Um, I actually studied dance. Dance? I you, did. Stu you studied? I did. Dance. I didn't know they had that. <laughs> I know they have like ballet schools and stuff, but you can it's, study. Uh, there's music at the university too. It's an uh, art school. Um, but oh. yes, dance, uh, you ballet, um, jazz, hip hop. Fuck. Yeah, cool. Just <laughs> a lot of things. Oh, shut, shut. Yes, yeah? exactly, exactly like that. Like we were here. Nice mm -hmm. one. And um, so that was university, but what's your job now? Are you something? I a actually dancer own or a something? dance studio. Another girl owning a dance studio. How many is there going to be? First one didn't but she liked riding bikes. And she lived in very, like, 
small city, it seemed. So if she could, she probably would. But who knows? That seems to be the trend in, in this. How they all dance. She does not teach rivers. Ask more questions to give information. Connect on and compliment her. Yes. You know what? I really like that because it's something entrepreneurial and it's something where you're really doing something you're passionate about, yeah. right? Yeah, so, it's wonderful. No, big respect for that. Plus, you know, it's a big risk and not to be, I don't think it's sexist. I think it's the fact that women don't normally take those risks, like to, uh, to open their own business and stuff. So very, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been wonderful. I love doing it. And tell me, what, who do you teach? Children. Yeah? Children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love kids. Like um, ballet for little girls. Ballet for little stuff. girls, like five. It's so cute, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. They... Five to ten. And they actually <laughs> love it as well. Yeah, we have, um, we have a dance at the end of every class, uh, every mm. school period, like every six months. We have a dance recital. Very cool. Thank you have you. some videos on YouTube of it. I do. You have to show me later. Okay. <laughs> This is undoubtedly a cool thing about her, so you definitely need to connect on it and compliment it because she's going to have a lot to say, a lot of emotions in there, and you want to be positive. I just noticed you got some tattoos. Oh, my eye. Yep. Pretend to read it and that it says she likes to have sex with multiple men at once. No. It says so you really don't like them. Ask the idea behind it. I actually was curious. This is interesting. You've got like coordinates here. <laughs> yeah. what, what's that? Is some. Something special there. It is. Uh, I went to Iceland, and ah. those are coordinates for my favorite waterfall from the trip. Oh, like and the most the, beautiful place or something. Yes, and the mountain range is Asia. It was uh, the first mountain range we drove through when we went. Mm -hmm. So very special. So the idea is that you had an amazing time, and you just look at it and you. Yeah, it was the adventure of my life. So I wanted it forever. Nice. I get it. Cool. <laughs> I was like, what's that? But it makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it's strange. Cool. <laughs> If someone has an interesting tattoo, there's usually a story behind it. They're going to be uh, used to telling the story, but then by handling it in the right way, you'll still make them feel good and have a good moment of connection. So I think that's probably enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you do? Uh, it's kind of kind of strange, right? So okay. I'm not I'm not like an strange. accountant or whatever. So um, it's I make videos for YouTube, so okay. I could sound um, like a YouTube professional. <laughs> what sort of videos would you mean? Different videos like in different subjects giving advice about health and different okay. things and then uh, it kind of makes money by the advertising and you know when there's those annoying ads in YouTube? Yes. So basically that's, <laughs> that's how you make the money. That's paying me like one cent each one or whatever okay. and it adds up. Interesting. So. Well I did Don't notice that you're very well groomed. Oh thank um, you. I was Don't hoping you didn't mean that you're into men. Like she asks as if this motherfucker is gay. And then I was like, I'm mad at this, so I picked this one. So you're homophobic, that's not cool. No, I'm straight. God damn it. Well, so what if I were? Like, are you homophobic or what? No, I just... Come on. Sitting here, I would just hope that you liked women. Well, so that's if there all. were two guys there kissing, you'd puke or what? No, absolutely not. But I just, you know, mm. want you to be into me. Oh. Ah. So she answered that's that all right. Well. So you're not homophobic, <laughs> that's cool. No. So my no. gay friends are safe. You're not going <laughs> to attack them or anything. They're safe. Nice one. Well, no, to clarify, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gay. I'm straight. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. Right. Hell uh, no. She challenged you. You got a little bit reactive, a little bit angry. Not the best course of action. No, no, However, no. However, it, well it ended okay in the end, so it it's not well the worst deserved. thing that you can do. But still, well try next time to stay cool and roll with these challenges no. in a better way. Um, you know when you date guys or meet guys, I assume you do sometimes, yeah? yeah? But is it usually in clubs? Because not, for me it's definitely not. not. Um, no, I, I try not to. Um, it's not the best, right? No, it doesn't always seem like the most honest environment to meet someone. Yeah. Well, most people going to clubs, they're just looking for something that's not serious, right? That's the right. general thing. <laughs> yeah, or to have fun with their friends yeah. only. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I try not to. But you know what, the good thing we've met, right, not mm -hmm. long ago, but we're not too drunk. <laughs> we've managed to find this quiet place for a conversation. Sure. So it's maybe, uh, we shouldn't categorize it as the usual awful club thing, right? Yeah, that's safe. Mm -hmm. Brush your hair back. Here's, it's like, I have the cat ears. I don't Look at her mouth when she's talking. Tell her that she's really turning you on. You want to kiss her. Grab her ass. Like, I just want to pick C just because... Like, 
there's so many social cues that she's that she likes me, right? So if it's not too personal, tell me where did you meet your ex? Uh, the uh, the university. Um, dance. We were our partners, so just kind of natural, I guess. Okay, I'm finding it really hard to concentrate actually in talking to you because you're just really sexy, and I'd just <laughs> like to give you a kiss. Oh, thank you. But um, she you're just welcome. should talk a little more first. Yeah. Okay. But I'm having fun though. You are really sexy. <laughs> Thank you. She it's gave me all thing. the social no. cues. <laughs> Verbalizing that stuff sounds okay in theory. She so gave I actually me didn't so many ask, social cues. but what did you study in school? Well, to be honest, I didn't go to university, but it's just because um, I didn't really like school when I was young. I was intelligent, but I was kind of bullied, and kids called me ugly and stuff. Really? Yeah, I have no pictures from that time. Let's I hated how I looked says, and, and everyone called me ugly, so it was it was just unhappy. But it's okay, I'm alright now. But You're very handsome now. Well, big seat, oh, come on. No, no, I'm not. But you, you're just amazing. I mean, just perfect. The best, the best guy I've seen. Amazing. Well, thank you. But I mean it too. Oh, God. So if she liked you before and gave you this compliment, this all over now, yeah, let's have a drink. Shut up. Cheers, by the way. <laughs> Cheers. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. <laughs> mm. Shut up. I know we haven't been talking for long, but to me it's, um, it's going pretty well so far. So I'm yeah. happy I came and talked to you. Me too. <laughs> I'm going to suggest you leave right now and go back to your place, chill things, back down and turn to do stuff. That's if she's seeing anyone. That's if she's ever made love in each other's closet. By the way, I appreciate that I asked earlier, but are you seeing anyone at the moment? Or? <laughs> yeah, we should have talked about that, I guess. Yeah, um, why? Got, got something to tell me? <laughs> no, no, I'm not seeing anyone. That's good. I am, actually. I'm married. Really? No, I'm joking. No, I'm, oh, I'm, si <laughs> I'm single as well. It's oh, cool. good. Okay, that's like, great. So social yeah. cues. She just didn't. She just didn't want it. That's fine. I should. You didn't I need to ask her that, did you? You know, much better to keep. I just want to get past this part. I just want to get past. It. I want to get the parts that I that I don't know, cause I still fucking it up. I'm still finding a way to fuck it up. She says that you leave and go eat somewhere. That's somewhere at your place. I just want to say your house. Say you know somewhere better than music. Suggest going to another party at your house or friends. I said she wants to go to your house. Suggest that you that you leave and want to go eat somewhere. That somewhere would be your place. I think I should be in I don't know what you think about this place, but the music's kind of yeah, whatever, it's not so good. and drinks not so good either. But right. I know somewhere with really good music Jinx. and Shut up. nice drinks as well. Maybe not come with you tonight, but um, give you my number. See you again. Okay, cool. I'll probably get going <laughs> soon anyway, but give you my phone. Um, put your number in there, and I don't know, meet in a few days or something. Yeah, yeah that would be nice. You don't want to make the invitation to house explicit, you want to make it implicit so that she can agree to it without feeling like a slut. Well done. Yes. In a noisy... He comes out of the motherfucking wazoo. As if someone is using that chair, then sit with her cheeky. Stay standing, ask what she's reading. Ask her opinion of what thought the book dies at the end. E. I wanna, I picked E last time, I wanna do A. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Are you using this chair? No. Oh, great. I'll just join you then. Okay. How's it going? That's all right, how are you? Good, my name's Richard. Richard Brenna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I help you? Well, that all depends. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I just saw you reading and I thought I had to come and say hello because I have a few minutes before my friends come. And there's no one there. Oh, okay. Say that. This is the right option. Um, it will work if you pull it off with, you know, a bit of a smirk, playfulness. So if it suits your character, this will work as a way to start a conversation in the coffee shop. Find out about her, say that her hair is kind of nice. Use books as a way to show off. I might do books. No, I also do find out about her. And you normally read uh, philosophy? Uh, no. I mean, I think, well, in every book there's a little philosophy. I'm not a huge Kafka fan. I was just in Prague recently. Ah, he's from Czech Republic? Mm -hmm. oh, that's Ice, interesting. Yeah, that's where his house is. I didn't know, actually. Yeah. Cool. Well, if you go, they'll, they'll talk about Kafka, so. Nice. And what else do you like to read? Do you like... I generally read... Fiction, non-fiction? Fiction, and like 20th century American lit. 
Okay. Sure. Who's that mock I, I hate when they like were Salinger like that. or maybe I just recently read a novella called A Day No Pigs Would Die. It's really a day nice. no pigs would die. Yeah. That's like when everyone's vegetarian. A day no pigs. Or Muslim. Would die. Well, I won't spoil it, but you're on the right track. Oh yeah, nice one. Yeah, what do you cool. read? Um, I read a lot of different stuff. So I, I like um, business, biography, psychology, uh, philosophy too. And I like old English classics and Russian classics. Russian classics, yeah. such as? Hmm. Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, you all, like Tolstoy? all the usual stuff. Yeah, I think he's a great writer. Mm -hmm. And obviously in translation, maybe it's different, but... Um, yeah, but it's still very cool. What about Bulgakov? Yeah, Master Margarita yeah, and stuff. Like yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, I like Russian lit. Nice one. Mm -hmm. That's good. We have something in common already. Yeah, I, I guess so we do. I guess Correct. it's tactic. It's important to always focus the conversation on the girl as much as possible because then it's just going to be more interesting for her. So how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home or, or from anywhere. But um, it's like internet stuff and with America. So in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever. So right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed, mm -hmm. lying on the balcony, <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> that's nice. So that's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work. No. Well, I have, I'm a, I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day and I work in the evenings. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Uh, no, not six, I had two members, I was an arm. Okay, we all know the answer. I ain't got next time. So you teach at the university, that's interesting. Yeah. And tell me, do you actually like what you do or you do it just for money? No, I really do like what I do. Great. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're making a difference in people's lives and all of this? Yeah, I, <clears throat> I actually do. Honestly, Jeez. I feel like what I do is important yeah, and that the information I convey will be valuable to Fuck these people it. and to my students. That could be true because I still remember right uh, now. my teachers to from primary write these notes school. Down. And, uh, in secondary Fucking school, I don't know if you're the same, but did you like the subjects most where the teachers were good? Mm -hmm. And then later, maybe you weren't even interested in that subject. So mm -hmm. a good teacher can just change the whole course of someone's life. Absolutely. And like looking back and thinking, what years of school are your favorite? It's like, well, whatever year you had the good teachers, because what you learn is kind of irrelevant. And you're a good teacher? They like I you? I think so. I hope so. <laughs> That's I cool. try. No, I like it, to be honest, because it's... It's very rare. You know, most people just do their job for money and mm -hmm. then they come and moan about it and they hate it. So it's good to meet someone like you who actually enjoys what they do and is making a difference. Thanks. This is a nice thing that you can ask anyone. So well done for picking this. It's the right option. And it can always lead to an interesting conversation. Whether she's into a job, she can tell you why, or she's not and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about. And what's your subject? What do you teach? American culture. Huh, what, what does that entail? So kind of a lot, quite a few different themes. For example, we kind of started with an overview of American values, which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah? Things like that, and even more so, for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And Like Back to the Future, the movie. Mm, I don't see how... I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans like, why would you think say that, that? they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. You feel good about a job. In American culture, what's that? It's like uh, George Steinbeck, Edgar Allan Poe and all that stuff? Or? Sure, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our, my focus is more on what we could call contemporary culture. Britney Spears. Sure. Kanye. Sure, that is all yeah? relevant. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it must be really interesting for the students. They're not learning about things thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think so. And just kind of seeing how the, you know, the Kanye's and the Kardashians, how their influence reverberates through American society and how that affects how Americans think. Mm. And why is it useful for the students? Because a lot of these students aren't going to stay in their, in, in their home country. And yeah. at some point they'll be interacting either with 
they'll either be in the United States or just interacting with Americans and to have right. some perspective on their psychology or their ideology, yeah. whatever it is. I guess it's useful. important, right? Because yeah. American culture is pervasive, you know, it's kind of it everywhere said, yes. and seems to lead the world. So I know that mm -hmm. in England, we're always like a few years behind America with all the trends and everything and mm -hmm. it all follows and then Europe a little bit later, but mm -hmm. no, it's pretty cool. Then. And more than that, it must be really interesting for the, the kids. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Mm -hmm. When someone has something that they actually care about in their life, you don't want to tease them about it or denigrate it. So it's good to give them some validation on something like this, you know, the job that she's obviously passionate about. I really enjoy my job, but there is this one little thing that's very frustrating for me. I've got this problem hey. where Let's I can't all print in. all the copies that I need, and but I want my students to all have their own copy to take home. But then I have to go to the printer like every day and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? Now, um, all of this is wrong. Anyone wanted to know? Well, when you have a problem like this, it's important to, uh, that's it, you should talk to your boss about the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is, yeah. not important, but you know, talk to them in a way that shows that you're on their side. Okay. And that you want the best for the department and should be okay. Okay, that's pretty good advice. Oops, looks like you got a little bit distracted there, but you know, I'm... Apparently so there was a really teaching answer. thing, and what well, else I is important that. in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs, and I love to travel. Travel? Yeah. That's cool, do you travel a lot? I've traveled quite a bit, these last couple of years especially. Nice, and where are some places you've been? Uh, in Europe, I've been in Prague, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia. Nice, all, all of Eastern Europe and yeah. kind of former USSR, yeah? Yes. Nice. And tell me, what's the absolute best place you've seen? Like if people who have never traveled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. Well, so I can't do it justice with Canyon. words, but it's wonderful. Okay. You're going to say that it is boring and then Wi Fi. Yes, Grand Canyon is not Wi Fi. Sorry for anyone who thought it's not. Tell your favorite trip to this time. Do tell us. I guess we're the computer library, which we like. They really like they would like to go. At Grand Canyon, yeah, I've, I've never been there, but I'd like to go. Maybe, you know, go to what's a good trip? Go to New York, go to LA, San Francisco, Vegas, and then it's somewhere near there, isn't it? So it's, it could, it's over there, yeah. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in that region. Mm hmm. And then go down there because hang out um, for what? What's good? Like two days? Or I think just two a days. Day trip? You could do it in a day or two days would be better, but one day you could do that, yeah. I always wanted to go since I saw Superman 2 when they go down on the. He goes on, down on the donkey because he's too scared to go on the flying things, and then Superman comes and they have their base in the Grand Canyon. So it was when I was a kid, it was good. I, I always wanted it. to go. You should watch it, Superman. Classic. Oh, okay. If it's got the Grand Canyon in it. Mm hmm. This is coming back to you, you know, relating everything to yourself. It's not the best answer and it's not necessary. You can keep the conversation focused on her at this point. Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. I've run out of things to say. Do not. Like, what? Like, why verbally say this? A uh, whole lot can't wait for her to speak. Yeah, right. So are you not going to get any coffee? Oh, well, actually, I was, I was over by the bar just... Uh... Where I saw you and had a coffee there and I try not to drink too many I get it actually has a strong effect on me so I don't need that much energy I've, I've had enough so I'm, I'm good correct now most guys can't do this you know so it's, it's very cool makes you look very confident and strong when you can hold eye contact like this and get her to be the one that works to fill the silence and come up with something to say because it shouldn't always be you right and tell me some things you like to do for fun well, since I, as long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball. So that's oh, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Nice. I mm -hmm. played it at school. They had yeah. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play, I go to Barcelona a lot and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very in a nice. pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. You can do that where you jump and smash sure. it down. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
cool. Yeah. That's nice. It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher. But yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool hobby. And anything else you do? Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian for hobbies. Russian? Yeah. Ah. I've already done that, right? Nice one. I've already done this. Already I noticed you have an accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? I um, was born in London, but actually, you know what? When I was, when I was young, I, I lived in South London. And they have a strong accent there. It's like South, South London and things like this. But um, because I travelled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. Oh, that's good. Wow. So you like the English accent? Yeah. Yeah, most people like it. They say it's Pleasant. kind of sexy. But maybe that's just when I speak it. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting actually being English because in some places like America, we have a very good reputation. Mm -hmm. And then some places like Spain, where all the English people go and kind of party and like the hooligans go drinking and stuff. Mm -hmm. So their reputation is quite bad. But oh, how do you find that. it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at, <laughs> but I guess generally... Sorry, um, People have kind of negative stereotypes about the United States and Americans, but I don't know. It seems that a lot of people are willing to take you and judge you individually and not. That's good, right? Put on a bunch of, not, oh, yeah. We're lucky. Uh, we don't have any real uh, racism or anything really bad against us. Almost anywhere white. we go, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is the right choice and it's always interesting to talk about cultural differences so it can lead to some nice conversation. <laughs> Say you like her and want to see her again, ask her a number, ask what she likes to do in her free time. Say you think she's going to be one that you would like to turn a date. So apparently we're not at What do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. At the same time? <laughs> when the mood strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. Do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... I quite like it. They say yeah. it's really unhealthy, but... It I seems think unhealthy. Once a month. But you don't cough after it, so therefore... It's know. healthy? Yeah. Hmm. So we need to do it sometime, like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails, and then dancing. Oh, maybe. When you want to transition to seeing someone again, it's very good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. You find that you share some activities or that you do some things that she wants to do, she does some things that you'd like to try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. And do you have any other outdoor, like, active stuff you like to do? You yeah. Volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking and I love fishing. Fishing? Fishing, yeah. A girl who likes fishing? It happens. Yeah, wow. We, we exist. That's interesting. I've never, never done fishing, but I love the outside as well, you mm -hmm. know, walking in... Uh, parks or yeah mm -hmm. hiking if you've got somewhere like mm -hmm. that how about bi bicycle i like that too yeah well that's something else we could do one day like take some bicycles ride out somewhere yeah mm -hmm. that would be nice cool well, what the fuck ask her if friends can week uh what kind of men she likes around the queue see you do, i usually would do the the psychological test but i found that for him he only wants you to do it when there's more than one person touch your face no and are you busy this week? Like, what are your plans for the next few days? I'm pretty busy. I have a, a my friend is having a party tomorrow, and then this weekend I'm gonna take a train up to Vilnius. Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. pretty busy. You have free mm -hmm. time, though. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Which Maybe day? on Sunday. Sunday, mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I might mm -hmm. be free on Sunday as well. Okay. That's exactly right. Now think about this. Have you ever texted a girl saying, hey, can you meet tomorrow? She's like, oh, I'm not in town. And you say, okay. And then text her in a few days. Hey, can you meet tonight? Are you around? Sorry, I've already got plans. Well, to avoid this kind of dumb situation when you end up not seeing her again, mm -hmm. why not find out at the time of meeting her what her plans are for the coming week? Right, so it's very finished. easy to right. find out in person and saves the need for sending loads of dumb text messages that get you rejected. So it's the correct choice. I see that. Suggest a meeting for a drink, take your number, suggest going hugging together, take your number, take your number, and you'll be in touch, save a few minutes, invite her to make love in the restaurant. 
fireworks. So you like um, hiking and outdoor stuff, and mm -hmm. the weather's pretty good at the moment. So one day we could take a little trip. Or, okay, I don't know. know. I don't know if I'm right yeah, here. I don't know if I'm right here. Lots of stuff. We've got lots of stuff we could do together. So why don't you give me your number and we'll, sure. we'll arrange something. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. It flows very yes, smoothly sir. to find something that you both like and then suggest doing that as the reason to see each other again. It's way better than just saying, hey, give me your number or hey, let's go for dinner tomorrow. So coldly. Well, look, I should be heading off, but it was it was great meeting you. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Really, really happy to meet you. And yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Oops, you know you got. Fucking bitch. Fuck. This is the right option. Um, it will work if you pull it off with you know a bit of a smirk. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this is the ending of uh, episode two. Um, looks like. Currently, back to my menu, yes. Friend to girlfriend, story mode. We currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six more episodes. So, do about, do about a 40, 50 minute video. Um, so that means, And okay, so about three more videos out of this, so I'll reach the ending. Cool, dope. Um, if you guys are liking the series so far, let me know. Um, excited to see how this plays out, and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, bye bye.